Hi, Jordan from NTAC here. Today we're going to show you how to cut and join LED tape. First, here's what you'll need. Some LED tape. Today we're working with CV and pixel tape. Soldering equipment. Solder. Scissors. Tweezers. And cutters. Now, let's cut some LED tape. It's important to note with LED tape to cut along the designated markings. On NTEC tape, this is clearly marked with a line across the copper pads. Cutting anywhere else along the tape can damage the tape circuit and cause the entire strip to fade. Now we've cut our LED tape to our desired length. But what if we want to join smaller sections of tape to create a longer continuous strip? There are a few ways to do this. You can join them together as a continuous strip, you can attach connectors to clip to other strips or controllers, or you can just bridge separate strips with sections of wire. In this episode, we'll cover the basic method of joining two smaller strips into a longer continuous strip. But stay tuned, because in future episodes, we'll cover other methods. The first thing that we want to do is we want to tin the copper solder pads. Tinning refers to the process of applying a small amount of solder to the copper pads to aid in soldering later. Next, you want to consider the copper pads and the data direction. If you're joining pixel tape, you need to make sure the data direction is consistent. On NTEC tapes, this is denoted with small arrows on the strip. Or you can match DO, data out, with DI, data in. On CV tape, there is no data direction, but you need to make sure you're connecting up matching pads. R to R, G to G, B to B. Once you have both ends tinned and your strips are aligned properly, connecting them together is a simple matter. First, butt the sections up together. The join will be stronger and easier to make if you overlap the pads slightly. Then, apply the soldering iron to melt the tinned pads together. Now that your LED tape is connected, all we have to do is test it. And we're done. That's it for this episode. Comment if you have any questions, like, share and subscribe if you found this video useful. And stay tuned for the next episodes where we'll go through other methods of connecting and using LED tape. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.